Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. I'm Gruff Boss. We're continuing our playthrough of Life is Strange for the PlayStation 4. Um, in the last video, shit was getting pretty crazy. Uh, we found out Rachel is dead and we found out where she was buried. Um, all the signs were pointing at Nathan, uh, but I guess Mr. Jefferson is the killer. Um, he shot Chloe in the head, drugged Max, so now I'm not quite sure where we're going to end up now. Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and follow along. So let's see what exactly happens next. Um, maybe Nathan's working with Mr. Jefferson. We don't know, but let's see. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do here. Can we get up? Chloe? What? Where? 
Oh, and Victoria is there. It's a dark room. Hey, what is this here? Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Me in the trolley? God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Hey, can we detach any of these? <clears throat> Finally, I'm free. Almost. Wait, what was free? Her foot? God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Hey, maybe we... What is on the table there? Of course. And right in front of me. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can wake her. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Okay, so she must be drugged too. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Oh, can we pull the trolley there? Okay, I'm not quite sure what that did. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. These straps are hurt. Okay, so what can we do with our foot? Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Yes, you already said that. Okay, what the hell can we do? I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Okay, hey, what about the photo again? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. I wonder if we can actually go right back when he shot Chloe. Okay, come on. Focus. Oh, that's great. There we go. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just... Pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who 
was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No, no. Uh, now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, he never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. So we can't rewind any further than that? Okay, let's look at the camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Okay, and what is this here? Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, what's on the floor, though? Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Okay, is she more awake now? Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. 
That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Um, let's say I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Okay, uh, let's say we'll see her again. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here, and then we can both go see her again. Okay? i do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay, so let's focus on that second photo. This might work. Please work. There we go. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Uh, let's say you killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Uh, let's say Kate survived. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? 
Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Uh, let's do... You used Nathan. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Uh, let's do why Rachel. Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Uh, let's do she let you take pictures. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, so he killed Nathan too. Sorry. This is not this art. This is purity personified. Okay, what's with this journal here? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I wish you could see yourself now. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's rewind. Let's see how these shots came out. Wait! Please! Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Um, let's do my diary. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. 
Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Okay, so let's skip this. I think we can focus on that one picture in her diary there. Okay, we're almost there. Frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, let's say who cares. Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that, and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well, thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly. Max doesn't have the, uh, time. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes Contest. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Okay, so what are we doing here? Maybe the journal? This diary literally saved my life. Can we do something with that phone? All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Okay, so we have to get Nathan's... Number. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Oh, we got to phone David. The security guard. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco and Jefferson. You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? I wonder, is this going to help anything? I have to save Chloe. Let's comfort her. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. 
so do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Okay, maybe that changed her mind about jumping off of school. Okay, guys, I think we're going to stop at this point here. Um, I'm not quite sure how long this little, I guess, episode thing's going to be. Uh, so I think we're going to stop at this point and see what happens in the next video. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, like, leave a comment. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, X, and Facebook at GruffBoss001 for more updates, more videos, and yeah, uh, thanks again for checking out my video, and I hope you join me next time.